Hello witches, welcome back to the channel. This is Hectarios. Welcome to all the new subscribers and thanks for watching. This is going to be our weekend tarot card reading for May 6th through the 7th, 2017. So, we're coming off the energy of And the Mercury retrograde ended this past week on the 3rd. So we're coming off of that energy. Um, we're coming off the energy of the Beltane Sabbath. At, or at least if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so there's just this great energy of new beginnings. And things are picking up pace with the Mercury retrograde ending. Now Mercury is going direct. So, you know, there's a quickening with that energy. And I just feel really good. I feel like things are progressing more smoothly now and quickly. And I feel like it's beneficent, you know, in our personal lives, but also for like everyone around us with this type of energy. Like, you know, your success is also enriching the lives of other people. So let's go ahead and get to the cards. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit, Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. Thank you, and so mote it be. Please give us your divine guidance for this weekend. Let us know what energies are around us and within us so that we can use them for our highest good, greatest success and joy. Thank you and so mote it be. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this down a little bit. Okay, so, interesting energy. It actually kind of reminds me of the reading that we just did for this past week. So the first card is the Wheel of Fortune. So we have a major arcana. The second card is the five of cups. And the third card is the sun card, another major arcana. So just like this past week, we have two powerful cards. And then in the middle, this kind of like somber energy card. Interesting. So the Wheel of Fortune card is about fate. It's about destiny. It's about cycles, patterns, changing. Um, our life is like a wheel, okay? Sometimes you're at the top. Sometimes you're at the bottom. Other times, you know, you're going up. Other times you're coming down. And... It's all about these cycles and these patterns, okay? The ups and downs, the flow. Um, when this card comes up, 
it lets us know that there's something important with the cycles and the patterns of our life. So there may be some sort of changes going on in that regard. Um, your schedules and um, planning for things are highlighted with this energy. Um, and it's changes for the better, okay? That's what I feel. Um, and there is this quality of faded energy or destiny. Like, um, this is where the universe reaches into your life and kind of pushes these changes to happen. Okay? So, I mean, if you resist this type of energy, it can be a negative thing. Um, in so much as the universe is really pushing you to do something. And if you don't do it, or you don't want to do it, the universe is going to force it anyways. Um, and there may be a lot of a sense of conflict with that type of energy. But... Um, the message with this card is kind of just go with the flow. Trust that things are changing even if you can't see um, a positive in it right away. Trust that things are changing for the better, okay? And the example I always use with this type of energy is like, you know, say that you have a job, for example, and it's a good source of income. You're not happy with that job. You don't feel passionate or satisfied with it, but it is a source of income and so you feel secure having that job. And this type of change energy is kind of pushing in for you to move on to something else. You might feel resistant because of the security aspect. Even though this job is no longer serving you, um, your passions and you just don't feel satisfied emotionally or spiritually um, speaking in that aspect. And this type of energy really just forces you to make that change. Or really just pushes it on you. So there might just be fears when it comes to that type of change. Um, like I said, because of the aspect of kind of clinging to what you feel secure with, clinging to the status quo, clinging to what you're used to, even though it doesn't really fulfill you, um, it feels safe. You've settled for it in some regard. So these are some things to meditate on and to look at this week. I'm sorry, this weekend. Uh, and just kind of see what uh, is apparent to you from the universe giving you signs and you know different things that will happen that will pretty much highlight this inner where this changing energy will be in your life but it does have to do with cycles and patterns so I feel like this has to do with our schedules our daily routines that type of stuff our monthly routines our weekly routines our yearly okay so just that's going to be important this weekend. Now, the next card that we have is the Five of Cups. Okay. I don't know why the camera's not focusing better, but it says disappointment. And really with this energy, it's like looking at the past. So it kind of goes along with what I was saying with this card. In the Five of Cups, you're looking at some sort of uh, what you would consider like a loss from the past uh, or a disappointment. And kind of by focusing on the, like what is this person doing in the card? He's focusing on the spilled cups and he's feeling disappointed about it. And he's not paying attention to these other two cups that are still there, okay? Or that are offered. So that is representing like something from the past or something that's in the process right now of ending or coming to some sort of uh, 
change and you're feeling negative about it, you're feeling disappointed, you're feeling like it's a bittersweet loss, like um, that sense of status quo and um, you know, what you've grown used to coming to an end and that type of focus can block you from seeing the opportunities that are right there pretty much in your in your face but you're just not looking at them you're looking at the wrong thing you're focusing on the wrong energy um so the main message with this card is don't look at the past don't focus on the past the past does not exist anymore um the best thing that we can do is accept the past, accept the way that things have unfolded and just move forward with our best efforts and continue trying, right? So go forward with that type of energy and see what opportunities are there. See what opportunities are around you that you haven't been paying attention to or may have not been aware of. So, since this card's coming up, I'm going to say it's probably a warning that there may be a tendency to try to focus on and dwell on these um, past events or current events um, that are kind of, you know, disappointing. But the best thing you can do is release that, okay? Okay. Which brings me to the next card, the sun. This is a beautiful energy. This is the energy of the sun. Um, the sun's radiance, the way that it just shines light and energy onto the world. Um, nurturing. Loving energy. Just being radiated and shined forth um, on you from the universe, probably from these new opportunities that are around you. And also this card's letting you know to go forward like the sun and just be a source of love, nurturing, light, support, all efforts for the good in others, um, support growth, support evolution, support positive changes, support um, just anything in that, uh, regard in other people and the people that are in your life and the people that surround your life. Okay. Think of yourself like the sun and how you can inspire others, encourage them, uh, nurture them and give them support. Um, consider yourself as one of the people that you're shining that light on. Okay. In that aspect, in, in the internalized way, think of the sun as your mind and um, what kind of thoughts are you thinking about your own self and about your own life? Are you, um, are you yourself inspired? Do you make efforts to be inspired? Do you make efforts to be um, supportive of your own self? Do you have self-confidence with the things that you do? Okay, think about all of those things, how they apply to you, your own self, how that applies to how you treat others. And, you know, with the sun card, this also represents very positive changes after a dark period. So, with all these cards combined... I feel like it's telling us things are changing for the better. What we have to focus on this weekend is letting go of the past, okay? Whatever these negative endings or disappointments or just things just not quite reaching a level of making us feel satisfied and fulfilled. Um, whatever this stuff is, focus on releasing your focus on it. <laughs> that sounded weird. 
Um, focus on releasing your attachment and focus on releasing from dwelling on this type of stuff, okay? Because there is positive changes happening right now. There is more positive changes to come. And there's positive opportunities for growth and new beginnings and just new relationships, new um, pathways. We just need to embrace this energy that's surrounding us, okay? Uh, and part of embracing that means letting go of the past, okay? So I hope that this reading helps everyone. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe and share if you found this beneficial. Um, and I love you guys and thanks for watching. Blessed be.